Massachusetts. This is Western Mass News. Today, Governor Moore Healy announced new proposed frameworks which could reshape how students learn about physical and mental health in the classroom. Good Wednesday evening, everyone, and welcome to Western Mass News at 5. I'm Chris Pisano. Western Mass News reporter Matt Satilli now joins us live after getting answers on what could change. Matt. Chris, this is the first time in nearly 25 years that state education leaders are revisiting physical education and health. We've seen, unfortunately, how some states are moving backwards, making it harder for educators to teach, making it harder for young people to learn. But that's not how we do things in Massachusetts. On Wednesday morning, Massachusetts Governor Maura Healey gathered with elected officials, the state secretary of education, LGBTQ plus advocates and students to discuss a proposed framework to update the health and physical education curriculum in the Commonwealth. The framework was last updated in 1999, and Governor Healy says a lot has changed, including technology, social media, and knowledge of physical and mental health since then. Our young people have experienced a real surge in uh, documented uh, mental health conditions, and we owe it to them to empower them with resources, with knowledge, with the tools they need to be successful. Another big point of discussion included in the framework, recognizing the needs of the LGBTQIA plus community. These updates are also inclusive. They recognize gay, queer, and trans students' identities and needs. That's important, and it's not something we're gonna shy away from. Something that Massachusetts Teachers Association President Max Page tells Western Mass News may not be received well by everyone. And look, let's be clear, one of the things in particular that will be controversial, hopefully not too much in Massachusetts, but around the country, is that it recognizes the the health issues and concerns related to our LGBTQ plus youth. Some of the other topics in this proposed framework include mental and emotional health, personal safety and dating safety, substance abuse or misuse, and gender, sexual orientation and sexual health. Each school district can decide which parts of the curriculum to teach to students, but Paige adds. We expect that our that our, our members would take these as the basis and develop them for the needs of their students and their districts. So what's next? The Board of Elementary and Secondary Education will hear a presentation at its next regularly scheduled meeting coming up on June 27th and have a vote on whether or not to send this out for public comment. If the board votes yes, the general public, which includes teachers, parents and the community, will have up to 60 days to provide their public comment. We'll keep you posted with the latest. For now, reporting live, Matt Satilli for Western Mass News.